Hello Collective, it's me again. Sorry I'm a bit of a mess. I've been, been out and uh, got some sugar. Brown. I'm coming off the refined stuff and I'm having black coffee, no milk because I'm not a cow. And I'm sacred at cow and you should really respect it, Lee. I'm got, I've got to lose some of this weight. Me and my twin. Um, I did have lots of twins actually that you could have if you just, all you had to do was heal. There's been many, you've been given many chances, all of you exes of examples of exactly what not to do. Now, although God says he knew you would all fail anyway because he knew your contract before you came down here, but you did have a free will and a choice and you chose to go to the dark side. You didn't want to come to the light side. You don't like the light. You hate God as much as you hate me. Oh well, never mind. Oh dear. So what that means is in the actor game of the, of the show, act one is over, the shit show's over, and now we're going to have the holy show, holy shots of holy smokes. Ah, oh, yeah, it's that. So as an actor myself, and wearing many masks of many faces at the masquerade ball, because I've been at the ball with the masquerade of the devil's shit ship, of the dictatorship, I've been on the ship with the dick, sir. I'm now home back with the old proper ship of the, of the fellowships, of the kingships, of the motherships. Much nicer than the dick ships, darling. I hate those dick ships, I'm telling you. They're bloody rats, a lot of them. But it's okay, because I'm the captain's cat. So I'll look after him and you can look after me. No one fucks with my family and gets away with it. I do believe we had a court case. A bit like the one I'm going to have to deal with next, so... Anyway, this twin flame journey, I did look into it when I was 21 and I was a bit like, oh my God, I'm not doing that. What I need to do is find myself. I'm just going to work undercover for me and I'll have lots of situation, Mr. Right Now's. Shed back all the layers that I need to do, break all these generational curse breaking and then now you didn't love me, you didn't want to love me, you played me. So you played yourself. Well done, boys. That was clever. I was the real one. I was a real one from the real way down. But you didn't want to know about the real one. You just wanted to play with a real or a real of a real. Oh, not a slippy eel. A slippy sea lion. Got the pussy. Enjoy your pussy. Now you've lost the cat. Okay. So that's great. Get rid of all them. They're just Mr. Right Nows. So, and my partner has had lots of Mr. Right Nows too. Now he's like me. Now we decided we're just not going to do relationships anymore now after the last one because we got really fucked over. And it's traumatising. It's really quite dramatic. <laughs> I think I need to lie down in a foot massage. Do you think you could possibly lie down and fan me with your eyelashes? <laughs> it's just too much. Oh, it's a little ladybird. I mean, a little butterfly. It's a, it's a cabbage one. Cabbage green one. We get them in the UK a lot. I've seen, that's four I've seen today. And I've been with the crows. That's the magpie you can hear. Can you hear that magpie? He never shuts up my magpie. Telling a right old tale. So we're just taking our time and, and I just want to tell you, I'm telling you the thing about this twin flame journey because you're going to be very annoyed at my love when I do get it. This is what they've been trying to stop and cock block. You can't stop God's plan. And it was written in the stars and we have been in love for a thousand years and separated and hated on. In this lifetime, he's had a different life to me and I've had a different life, but together we make a whole. You're going to be very jealous, ladies. I would be jealous myself. I never, I never looked at him like that. I never thought about him like that. Do you think so? Really? I, 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 I'm busy doing fainting fainting for Satan, <laughs> siphoning off Satan's smelly shit. I haven't really had time to be looking at all these woody woodies of Hollywoodabies of wannabes of lullabies of idols. They get on my nerves. Famous idols, normally. There's, there's a few good ones. I have to say. Uh, not everything's bad and that's the lesson I'm having to learn that not everybody's going to try and fuck me it's it's a hard long lesson so I'm just finishing off my I'm lady in waiting and he's man in shit another door's closed why is nothing working out anymore <laughs> kind of behind <laughs> you've got to have closed doors darling to get new doors follow me follow me follow the leader follow me follow the leader follow me follow the leader i know where i'm going well i don't i know the destination but i don't know what's happening in between and this is he this is why you're needed darling because you're the thinker and the planner i'm just the aerial i haven't got a flipping clue what's going on now do i look like i know what's going on i don't know what's going on 
I just, I'm in the now moment. And now is a very good moment to be in. I've got dermatological, dermatated sugar in my coffee. I'm going black because I'm not drinking milk. I'm cutting down on the dairy. Going to try and lose a bit of my belly. I know my twin has put weight on as well. He's got a, he's got a bit... Because I talk about it. It's a greatest love story, so I do have to sort of speak about it. And I'm not going to be sending him a DM online and be caught doing that. No, that's a bit really silly. I'm waiting for him. He's going to have a plan. I don't know what the plan is, because that's not my job. Man is in charge of pursuing the woman. I think I'm a traditionalist. I'm not going to go around going, Hey, do you want to meet up? No, that's not really my style. I'm a traditionalist, and I think the man should ask the lady if he would like to court her. I think it's a man's job. It's the role. <laughs> it's a role he has, to, he, has to, he has to fulfill. Because I can't possibly be asking a man out on a date. I've never... Heard of, ask a man out on a date. Chase a man. Men like to chase. They do. Girls, you don't know anything about men. I know a lot about men. I've got thousands of brothers. Trust me, I've been fucked off the devil many times. I know all about men in the trick. And you've demasculated them. You've made them feel worthy. What the men are do. They're not allowed to do anything. They're not allowed to wolf whistle at us anymore. I'm offended at the men in Birmingham. Not wolf whistling at me. Wolf whistle at me if you want, boys. I'm the boss. You can wolf whistle. <whistles> hey, still got it, baby. At my age, I'd be quite impressed. Impressed if someone fucking wolf whistled at me. I'd, I'd be honoured. As long as it's not a pack of 200 trying to fucking rape me and pin me to a radiator. If, if if a man finds you attractive and he's noticed I've done my hair and I've made an effort to go out and he wolf whistles at me from the top of a building while he's bored at work whoops, drilling holes, <whistles> all right, yay, that's it. That's not sexual harassment, ladies. You you completely lost the fucking plot with this health and safety and these laws of sexual harassment and bullshit. A saint and really has oh that's lovely that sugary bit at the end. Satan's really done a number on you, look, Annie. Are you all prideful? <laughs> Young, dumb, and full of cum. <laughs> oh, please, don't worry me and my man. I'll teach you some things, because we're very old school. And we have lots of brothers and sisters who are all the same as us. And we're all a little bit crazy in here, darling. If you're not crazy, you can't come in. All my friends are heathens, take it slow. You don't know half of the abuse, darling. I just make it look easy and fun. I, I'm really, I'm fucking crashing and burning every second. Just keep smiling and carry on. I'm on camera, let's go. Yeah, it's great. Everything's great. I'm fine. 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 Fine means fucked up, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. If your woman says she's fine, I would don't move an inch. Can I go to the pub tomorrow? Fine. Fine, darling. Meaning, meaning, darling. What does this mean? <laughs> I'm telling you, if a woman says she's fine, don't fucking move an inch, bro. You're fucked. Insecure. Fucked up, new, insecure, neurotic, and emotional, all in one word. Four letters. Bye, motherfucker. Is it okay if I go here? Fine. Yeah. Go on, then. Fine. Fine. No problem. Fine. It's not fine. No, it's not fine. It's not fine. That's not fine. That's not fine wine. That means fucked up, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. You're in trouble. Don't move an inch, bro, and I wouldn't go to the pub. And if she says you can go and she says be back for nine o'clock, make sure you're back at about quarter two because you'll be in, you'll be in double shot trouble. Holy fucking shots if you're late. That'll add to her. Fine. Have a good night. Huh? Enjoy yourself. Good pleased about that as long as you've had a good time yeah the kids have been great three of them's got chicken pox the other two are fucking upstairs with whooping cough and i've had nothing to eat for 16 hours but i'm pleased you've enjoyed your weekend gambling that's fine don't worry about the family we're fine i'm pleased you've enjoyed your day out good fine it's fine don't worry about it 
Ten years later, I'm going to bring that fucker up and I'm going to tell the motherfucker this is what happened when we were fine, Mr Alexander, not so great, on New Year's Day when you left me with all the kids and the grandkids and everyone else. It's fine. Don't worry about me. Fine. Get yourself out for 36 fucking hours. Fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. You going to the gym again? Fine. Don't worry, I'll do the Sunday day with the... You're not staying in on family day. Fine. 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 You're welcome. It's fine. It's fine. What are you doing, Kat? Nothing. Just sitting here having a coffee. Being fine by myself for the last 36 years. Enjoying my time with God. Being fine. Enjoying life. Fine. Don't worry about me. No problem. No problem. Now it is fine. Everything's fine. I'm fine like wine. And I'm allowed to do what I like when I want with who I like when I like with where I like and who I like. And I haven't got that, 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 that. Nobody's telling me what to fucking do. Fine. I am fine now. Like a fine wine. Fine, baby, fine. 11, 11 on the clock and I'm fine. How are you today? So my new life, when my man says to me, how are you today, Catherine? I'm fine, darling. I'm fine. Fine, me. Fine, like a wine. Do you think we have a vineyard? I could grow my own wine. Shiraz. I want the grape, red grape, big Shiraz grapes. And I would like to crush them with my toes. Do you think we could do that, darling? Great. I'll be fine then. Don't worry about me. I'm fine now. I have a new life. God has saved me from the fucking Satan's camp of the Lost Boys slash Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Calories. Uh, yes, that's me. I'm the investigator and you're not going to eat me, Hannibal, because Hannibal fell in love with me. <coughs> Told me where the murderer was. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Just call me Clarice. Like a clartel of a clarty party. Hmm. Who knew that was a thing? Devils love me, because I'm the best. Don't put out your light, kids. Make sure you keep shining bright. You're a long time dead. Forever. Forever, ever. Forever, forever ever. Forever, ever. She's never coming home. Forever, ever. Never again in this lifetime will you see me, no. If you've done something to curse someone under the age of 18 who's a minor, then we might be able to talk. But apart from that, you're all fucked because you're over 18 and you've made all your conscious decisions. You knew exactly what you were doing and you've done everything for the love of money. And no, I don't care. I cared and you didn't care and you tried to kill me. And now I'm still alive and now you've got your wish. I'm dead. I'm not the same person I was back then, darling. I've changed. I've grown up. I was fine. And now I'm fine. Loving my life like a fine wine. Me, myself, and the dead army. Trusting and believing in my faith. Like a spiritual shit person that I am. Minding my own business with my wine. Except I'm not having wine, I'm having coffee. I broke the generational curses of alcoholism, addiction issues, and mother-daughter problems. <laughs> I'm not the Lion King and you're not Simba. I'm not coming to rescue nobody. You were given the tools you needed. Give love, receive love, kids. Give love, receive love. Don't fuck with your mother because she fucks back. She's a 90s rave, a gangster bitch. That one, she's an oasis. A mirage in the desert. You're stuck in denial, in Egypt of denial, denial in senile. You're fucking mad, you lot. <laughs> anyway, don't worry about me, I'm fine. I'm actually fine. Finally, I'm fine. Like, I don't know, I'm going to have to think of a new word for fine. I can't think of something off the top of my head. Normally, I've, I've lost some words there. So I'm just fine, which means... Fun, I now enjoy just life. I'm enjoying my life. I've got helping hands coming tomorrow to help me move some stuff and donate some money to my charitable cause of charity of me because I have no money because Satan's still fucking playing fucking God with my money. 
and um, it'll all come though. It'll go. I'll go from nothing to a million in one day. It'll just come ra raining on me, pouring in the rain like money. I'll be, I'll be dancing in the. It's a raining man, hallelujah! But it won't be. It'll be raining money, hallelujah! It's a raining sense. So I'll be able to do that and finally get paid after 33 years working with no money. And then I'll just be able to live my life. So that's tomorrow's plan, getting a donation for the charitable fund of myself so I'll be able to afford some stuff. And then I'll be going to um, the city centre for breakfast on Tuesday. Lovely probably getting phone calls from Dr. Frankenstein's and them trying to dig their way out of the grave they've just landed themselves head first in. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the grave they dug is the deepest fucking Australia. <laughs> They're going down, 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 down. You've laid your paper of your uh, master's degree isn't worth the paper it's written on. You might as well burn it. You're like, you're going to burn in hell. <laughs> oh dear, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. Are you fine now? Fine! <laughs> You're fine! <laughs> oh, we've got another fine one, Sarge. <laughs> All you needed to do was watch my reels. I've been telling you for two years and you've been telling me for two years and now you're hiding behind the screen of a... She can't see us. I can see you, darling. You're hiding behind a lamppost, just like you used to do when you were three. And now the whole world's going to know all of your names and you will be famous for being the greatest fools of April Fool's Day belongs to you fools. I told you that in 2023, but you didn't want to listen. You just think you know best because you're whappers of Judas's, of your 50 cent whappers. Remember, remember the 5th of November. You could have done something then, but you didn't. So now you're hanging with Grimm. Lost your wings, lost your place, soul, family. You've been demoted and I've been promoted. My job, you lose me. Oh, well. Bye.